All right, now that we've drawn our deck and our bottom cord, our next step is to draw our truss. So I'm going to create a new part. And this time we're going to draw in our front plane. So I'm going to sketch front plane. And I'm going to change my point of view. Now our first thing we're going to draw is we're going to draw kind of a, a bottom cord that's going to be the full length of the thing. We won't be using this, but we just kind of need a place to start with. So I'm going to draw this um, using uh, the rectangle tool, and I'm going to just click. We want this to be 35 centimeters long by 1 centimeter tall. And so zooming out, uh, we can see that we kind of have a really big, long bottom beam. Now I want to turn off that front view now so we, can, we don't have to see that anymore. Now from that, we're going to start placing all the different parts of our truss on here. So I'm going to draw over, and based on my scale dimensions that we calculated previously, um, I know that my first vertical is going to be 7 uh, centimeters over. So I'm going to draw a line from here out, I'm going to do it about here, and then I'm going to type in 7. So I know it's seven centimeters over, and then I know that that vertical is 8.75. Coming to my here, my uh, length would be 8.75. So I'm gonna come here, go vertical with it, click, and then I want that to be 8.75. So I've got that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna draw a line from here out about seven, seven centimeters and then now um, I could actually click on that and bring it over and know that that's going to be exactly 8.75. So now I can uh, connect these two. That will be my top cord there and now I can start filling in the other parts of my bridge. I can draw our uh, draw this uh, end post here, draw another end post here, and then now I can start drawing on the inside. So from here, um, this was seven meters over as well. Type that in, go up. And then again, I want to draw another one from here, over, click, type in 7. All right, so now the bridge that I designed has a couple braces here. Um, this diagonal is going to go in this direction that way and then I have another diagonal going that way another diagonal going that way and my last diagonal is in the middle kind of causing a an X to appear All right. so that's in general the design of my uh, truss bridge based on the West Point Bridge Designer so from here what we're going to do is use the offset tool and that offset tool is going to help us kind of start making these single lines into wider pieces. So I'm going to click on the offset tool and we're going to offset this line and then I'm going to click in the other direction because I don't want to offset it that way, I want to offset it to the inside. Oh, let's try that again. I'm going to offset using that tool click here, and I'm going to, yep, make sure it's going that direction, so I'm going to hit return, and then how much do we want to offset it? We want to offset it one centimeter because that's how thick our popsicle sticks are. So I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around, making sure I'm offsetting the right direction, and I'm just going to do that for every one of these uh, pieces, so that way we can pretty much um, fill out our the design of our truss. So it's just really a process of selecting it, 
changing, making sure you have the right direction, and when you do, you hit return, and then you pick your value. I'm just going along the whole way. Man. Nope. Oh, man. We got this one to come in. Construction. One. And last but not least, here. And, yep, right direction. So once we've done that, we can uh, use the scissor tool and trim off all, a lot of these pieces so that way we just get a nice outline of our truss. Actually, we're going to um, actually connect some of Nope, let's make an outline. All right, so let's, uh, let's trim that, trim that. I'm actually going to trim off this whole bottom piece to So we're just going to trim away everything we don't need. Kind of like chopping away everything so that way we just have the outline of our truss There. It's going to get a little tight, but you can do it. Kind of isolate these last few little pieces. That's it. Let's see now. Good. We should be left with a nice outline of our truss. Let's go ahead and stop right there.